Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we are going to take a science revision for third prep about very important part that we are going to need it in this year, inshallah. This part known as light reflection. Now we are going to talk about light reflection. What is the light reflection? Sometimes in our daily life, we can observe formation of inverted images of trees and buildings on the surface of water or the road after rain falls. The image formed or buildings or trees or this mountain like this image as a result of light reflection so another example we have another example here if you look at a shining small surface like the mirror that exists in your home you can see your image as a light reflection and also you can see all objects that exist around you as a result of light reflection so we can define light light reflection Definition of light reflection It is the rebounding or returning back of the light waves to the same medium when it falls or strikes a reflecting surface again It is the returning back of light waves to the same medium when it falls on a reflecting surface Like when you throw a ball against a wall it returns back, rebounds from the wall to you Similarly, the light, when it falls on objects that exist around you, it returns back to you. Now, inshallah, we are going to talk about types of light reflection. We have two types of light reflection. One of them known as regular reflection and the other type known as irregular reflection. What is the difference between the two types of reflection? The first type is regular reflection. It is a reflection of light rays when they fall on a smooth and glistening reflecting surface, like mirrors. When the light falls on the mirror, incident light rays are reflected in one direction, as shown in this figure. The light rays falls parallel to each other and reflecting also parallel to each other on a glistening surfaces such as mirror. This type of reflection known as regular reflection. We can see our images as a result of this type of reflection and also we can see the object like we can see the mirror and we can see also our image inside this mirror. Smooth surfaces such as blame mirror and thin sheet of aluminium. The other type of reflection known as irregular reflection. This type of reflection is the reflection of light rays when they fall on rough reflecting surfaces. The incident light rays reflected in different directions. The light rays here falls parallel to each other and reflected in different directions on our surfaces such as closes. We have here examples for rough surfaces such as leather, leaf of tree or closes or walls. We can see the object only as a result of light reflection and we cannot see our image as a result of this reflection. So, Again, we have two types of reflections, regular reflection and irregular reflection. The regular reflection, we can see our images as a result of the light reflection, such as formation of our image on plain mirrors. The other type of reflection, we can see the object only and we cannot see our image as a result of this reflection. 
Now we are going to talk about concepts related to the light reflection. Here we have this image when the light falls toward the mirror, it reflects. This type of reflection known as regular reflection. This is the incident light ray and this is the reflected light ray. If we draw a normal from the point of incidence, we have here two angles. The first angle is the angle of incidence and the second angle is the angle of reflection. Here, the incident light ray represented by straight line and the reflected light ray represented also by a straight line. If we draw a normal line, a line perpendicular to the mirror from the point of incidence, we are going to have two angles. The first angle is known as the angle of incidence and the second angle is known as the angle of reflection. The incident light ray. Now we are going to define the incident light ray. It is a light ray that falls on a reflecting surface. The light ray that falls on the reflecting surface. Now we are going to define the reflected light ray. It is a light ray that reflected. It is a light ray reflecting from the reflecting surface. It is represented, any one of them, represented by a straight line. Here we are going to define the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence it is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal line. It is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal line from the point of incidence. Again, the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal line from the point of incidence. Here we have another definition which is the angle of reflection. The angle of reflection, it is the angle between the reflected light ray and the normal line. Again, the angle of reflection, it is the angle between the, it is the angle between, angle of reflection it is the angle between reflected light ray and the normal line from the point of incidence. Now we are going to talk about laws of light reflection. The reflection of light is governed by two laws. First law, the angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection. Again, the angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection. If the angle of incidence equals 60 degree, the angle of reflection equals 60 degree. This law is applied in case of regular reflection only. The second law. Second law, the statement of second law, the incident light ray, the reflected light ray, and the normal line from point of incidence, from the point of incidence on the reflecting surface, all lie in one plane perpendicular to the reflecting surface. Again, the incident light ray, reflected light ray, and the normal line from point of incidence all lie in one plane perpendicular to the reflecting surface. This is a statement of the second law. So we have two laws. First law, angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection. The second law, the incident light ray, reflected light ray, and the normal line to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence all lie in one plane perpendicular to the reflecting surface. Now, inshallah, we are going to take questions about the light reflection and the laws of light reflection. Give reason. The incident light ray, which falls perpendicular on a reflecting surface, reflects on itself. Again, the incident light ray, which falls perpendicular on a reflecting surface, reflects back on itself. Why? Here, the incident light ray falls perpendicular and the normal is perpendicular. So, they are parallel to each other. So, so, there is no angle between the incident light ray and the normal line. So, the angle of incidence equal to zero. 